guys, good morning. I am about to head out to do some grocery shopping. I'm bringing my breakfast with me. You just saw me make my coffee, so that is one smart point. I must have coffee to start out my day. So I'm gonna take my coffee and let's head to the grocery store. I'm gonna take you with me today. We're gonna go out to lunch. Today is my high point day. I am on the Wendy plan and so I am 50 to 53 points today. So basically today's the day I use my weekly. So my hubby and I are gonna go to a Mongolian grill for lunch, so I'll take you with me. And I'm gonna show you everything that I eat on a splurge day, a cheat day, whatever you wanna call it, a day that I'm using my weeklies, and I'm gonna enjoy some of my favorite foods on my one day a week that I use my weeklies. So I'm gonna take you along with me, so let's get started on our Saturday, shall we? So this is what I brought with me this morning to have for breakfast. Like I mentioned, my husband and I are going to be going out for lunch, but I wanted to get, have something for breakfast that sustained me until we go to lunch. So I showed you guys this briefly in my pantry and refrigerator staples haul. If you guys have not seen that video, I'll link it down below for you. I show you everything and anything that I have to have in my pantry, my fridge, and my freezer for WW. And this was one of the items. So this is a new find for me. This is the healthy eating all the time and go bars you guys these are outstanding now the bars range anywhere from six to seven smart points and i know that kind of sounds like a lot but they are full i'll show you the ingredients they are full of whole ingredients and let me tell you they are so satisfying these keep me full for hours so in my opinion it's worth spending a little bit of extra points if it keeps me full for an extended period of time this one is actually my very favorite this is the peanut butter cranberry this one is seven points but look at this you guys here's what's in here oats peanut butter sunflower seeds almonds unsweetened coconut flakes honey cranberries and coconut flour that's it there's nothing artificial in any of these bars, and they taste so good. I love peanut butter, so I'm in when I can have peanut butter for the points. So, again, this is going to be my breakfast, and this one is seven smart points. I reached out to this company and asked if they would offer you guys a discount. I don't get any type of kickback. This is not an affiliate link. It's simply a discount for you guys. But she was so kind to offer you guys a 12% discount on your order. So I'm going to put the code here on the screen for that. Again, I don't receive anything other than the joy of helping her out. She's a small company. And these bars, these need to spread like wildfire because these bars are outstanding. So the code is here on the screen. Check out her website. Seriously, you guys, for the points, these are well worth it. So this is breakfast and this will put me at eight out of 50 to 53 points for the day. One thing that I typically splurge on on my high point day is kombucha. I love it and I want to say this bottle is three smart points and not something I would typically have on a regular day only because I prefer not to use my points on beverages but I love kombucha so it's kind of my treat once a week on my high point day so I'm gonna have some of this GT's Synergy ginger berry kombucha. While I'm waiting to head out and run some errands and go have some lunch I decided to go ahead and have a little bit of watermelon. It's so good this time of year. So this is zero points of course and this was my first fruit of the day. I'm probably going to have some cherries a little bit later and if I do of course I'll bring you guys along. So here's where we're gonna have lunch today. It is Moon's Mongolian Grill. I'll see if I can get some video inside for you guys as well. So here we are inside Moon's. We're gonna go and get our food. You get to pick what you want in your bowl. So you can pick meat, veggies, noodles. So yeah, we're gonna go have some lunch.
Here's my lunch. Turned out so good. I topped it with some chow mein noodles, peanuts, and sun or sesame seeds. They gave us some fried rice, or yep, and some water. So there is my cheat day lunch. it's about three o'clock I'm gonna have a little snack here I'm gonna do one of my mint brownie delight built bars you guys I think this has become my favorite flavor and it is permanent now which is even more exciting so this is only three smart points it has 15 grams of protein it'll keep me full until I decide whatever I'm gonna have for dinner and it's only three points so if you're interested in the built bars use my code here on the screen and you can get 10% off and free shipping and again the mint brownie delight is a permanent flavor now. So I'm gonna bite into this and show you guys the inside because it is legit an ooey gooey brownie. Look at that center. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Very different than the mint that Bilt Bar already had. This one is more brownie than mint. The mint is subtle, but it is on point. So definitely grab yourself a box of this flavor. It is delicious. Use my code, it'll save you 10% and get you free shipping. So afternoon snack time with my built bar hey guys i just wanted to hop on here really quick it's midday so you've seen a little bit of what i've eaten today on my splurge day i wanted to remind you that i am doing the wendy plan at the moment so this isn't a non-tracking day for me i'm actually allowed between 50 and 53 smart points today so because i'm doing the wendy plan i have to stay within the 50 to 53 smart points so you saw my lunch and boy it was a lot more points than i suspected so you never know what you're eating you guys i mean this is a mongolian barbecue where you can put whatever you want in your bowl i had no idea the fried rice was seven points it was really good but never i would never spend seven points on that again so here's some tips for you track and look food up before you go and make sure that you just don't assume it's healthy because it's a mongolian grill or a poke bowl place so i mean they always say trader joe's you think trader joe's is healthy but there are so many things at trader joe's that are not healthy so just because you think it's healthy doesn't mean that it is so i'm really happy with my lunch it was delicious i bet it's kept me full um yeah it's been a good day so far so again i am between 50 and 53 points right now i think i am right at 40 points after my built bar so i'm not sure what i'm gonna have for lunch i'm thinking i might have some bird's eye pasta with some chicken i'm pretty full right now it's after three so we shall see what the rest of the day brings us but i just wanted to hop on really quick and say hi and just remind you that i am doing the wendy plan this week after my built bar i decided that i needed some cherries just to kind of round out my snack i'm also having an orange vanilla coke zero and i'm working here on turning these not healthy or ww recipes into ww recipes one of my favorite things to do so i'm gonna have some cherries for zero smart points so here is what i am having for dinner i was feeling some macaroni and cheese so i'm excited to try this so i have one serving of the tyson blackened chicken breast strips i bought these at costco these are zero smart points for one serving so i went ahead and just microwaved up some of the blackened strips they are so incredibly delicious and then i have one half of a cup of this bird's eye veggie made mac and cheese i'd never tried this you guys this is so good it tastes like craft mac and cheese actually better than Kraft mac and cheese and you can have an entire half of a cup for only five smart points so i have five smart points worth of a mac and cheese and zero smart points worth of chicken so this little comfort food dinner is only five smart points guys. Okay, so this is going to be my dessert for tonight i have two of these chocolate pizzelles they are one smart point each so that's two smart points and in the middle in the middle is amanda lewis's peanut butter mixture so it is pb2 maple syrup sugar-free syrup and a little bit of almond milk and it makes legit tasting peanut butter it is so incredibly good and it makes a mess but i'm having this this is a three smart point dessert 
If you're interested in Amanda's recipe, definitely check her channel out. It is Amanda Lewis. I'll put it here on the screen for you. She's one of my very good friends. I love her. And I'm telling you, this peanut butter is legit, you guys. So this will round out my day. I'm going to show you next uh, the final clip of my smart points that I used today. And I did great. I stayed within my 53 points on my cheat day or my splurge day. So I'm going to round out my day with two pizzelles with some Amanda Lewis peanut butter. All right, so here's my final day. You can see I ended with 53 out of 50 to 53 points. That is because, you can see dinner down here, I ended up having the two servings of the uh, macaroni and cheese because it was so good. I decided just to have two servings. And so yeah, today I ended my day at 53 points. That still leaves me 22 of my weeklies to have throughout the week while I finish out the Wendy plan. So I'd say today was a huge success. All right guys, so that is the end of my splurge day, my high point day, my cheat day, the day that I used my weeklies. It was a good day, I felt satisfied, I was full. The lunch was outstanding, but could you believe the smart points? Holy moly. But it was definitely a good day. I got to eat all of my favorite foods, so nobody can complain about that. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what I eat on a day that I use my weeklies, a splurge day, a cheat day. This is an extremely highly requested video, so I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today and seeing everything that I ate. So if you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend a huge, warm welcome i would love it if you would subscribe if you hit that little bell you'll just be notified by youtube every time i upload that way you're not missing out on a single video i would love it if you would thumbs up this one comment down below let me know what you thought of seeing what i eat on a splurge day and if you'd like me to take you along with me on another splurge day maybe when i'm not on the wendy plan when it is just a no tracking day altogether where i literally just eat whatever so let me know what your guys's thoughts are on a sequel to this video and i love you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.